Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go over commonly asked questions about starting a cybersecurity career. I have done a lot of Googling and what I realized is there's not a lot of good information out there from people who work in the field. I also get tons of different questions and I am working on replying to them, so sorry if I haven't replied. I do have timestamps below for each one of these questions so you can skip around. If you are new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you land a job in tech. As always, smash that like button below and to thank you, here is a beautiful picture of a llama. But let's get to the first question. What is the most important factor to when landing a cybersecurity job? Now, a lot of people think is that it's a degrees or credentials or your networking. No, the, the most important factor to landing a job is convincing the hiring manager that you can without any doubt that you can perform the job and excel at it. That's the only thing that matters. Now, how you go about that is on your own term, but you can have a degree, you can have certificates, you can have a huge network and still fail that interview because you're unable to convince the employer that you're the right person for the job. People overlook this. I wish I had known that earlier on in my career because that's the only thing that matters. The next question is, how do I get into cybersecurity? Now, I do have a video that goes deeper into this question right here. There are five different ways that you can get into cybersecurity. The first one being the third door. And this is essentially finding an easy way to like sneak into the back of the building instead of just going through the front door. And there are many different ways to doing that. A lot of people say use LinkedIn, uh, which LinkedIn is good. However, I would add to that is that you need to contribute to the cybersecurity community. Joining Discord servers and joining cybersecurity communities and seeking out conferences for cybersecurity and help as many people as you can. And I think that is the best like third door. The next commonly asked question about starting a cybersecurity career is, is it hard to get a cybersecurity job? And the answer is, it depends on so many different things. I can't tell you if it will be hard. Number one, hard is very kind of subjective. I don't really know what you mean by hard. There are many different factors such as like, what degree do you have? What experience do you have? What industry are you in? What's your location? What's your salary requirements? How well can you interview? How much technical knowledge do you have? What certificates do you have? And all of that fun sort kind of go into getting and landing a job. The next question I often get is what types of companies are hiring for cybersecurity? And the answer is every company should be hiring for some type of cybersecurity role, whether they outsource those roles to like a third party or whether it's in-house. The next cybersecurity question is, do all cybersecurity jobs need programming? The answer is the majority of cybersecurity jobs do not need programming. However, there are some jobs that you will need to know programming, but if you don't know programming, I wouldn't let that discourage you because most entry-level cybersecurity jobs aren't going to need programming. The next commonly asked question in about starting a cybersecurity career is, what are the different types of jobs? There are hundreds of jobs underneath cybersecurity and they can be broken down into eight different domains. Those domains are security operation centers, security assessment and testing, software development security, identity and access management. This field is hot right now, IAM, Tons of people are hiring for it. Communications and network security. Security architecture and engineering. Each one of these domains, there's hundreds of jobs. The next commonly asked question is, are there any entry level cybersecurity jobs? And I hear this one a lot. I even, I see it everywhere that there's no entry level cybersecurity jobs or there are no true cybersecurity jobs. There are plenty of entry level cybersecurity jobs. I can understand why they would think that, but more and more companies are like, no, they don't need to have previous IT experience. They can just start out in a cybersecurity job. You get trained for most jobs. And while maybe the learning curve might be a little bit longer, there are still companies that will hire you with no previous cybersecurity job. It will be a little bit more difficult if you also do not have a degree or any certificates. So if you have no degree, certificates, network, or experience, it may be a little bit difficult finding that first entry level job. And I suggest getting a degree or a certificate or building that network and really just kind of going after it. Are cybersecurity certificates worth it? I do have a video that breaks down whether on why and why not I think cybersecurity certificates are worth it. You can go check it out here. Also another commonly asked question I get when trying to learn cybersecurity is, 
are cybersecurity boot camps worth it? I've done a lot of research and a lot of these like boot camps, and I would say the majority are not worth it. And a lot of them use the same curriculum template. And so it's just like you could probably just piece together your own cybersecurity boot camp by looking at their syllabus and then finding topics on that subject. They could be beneficial to some people. I personally just think a lot of them are extremely sketchy. However, for software development, I have heard of a lot of good success on people landing jobs. However, I've also heard the other side to where like people get these jobs, but they're not really prepared for the job. To me, cybersecurity isn't as difficult as software development. Um, so really getting the CompTIA Security Plus is what you're going to get in the majority of those boot camps. It's such like a difficult one. I do have a video that goes more in depth on why I dislike boot camp spots. Again, it's personal and I have seen like people tell me like they just get like these LinkedIn learning videos for their curriculum and then they were like charged $10,000. Always read the fine prints. So if you're not happy with the boot camp, hopefully you can get your money back because a lot of them are just pure money grabs. I can't recommend them. What are the best online providers for cybersecurity? There are like tons of really good online providers. My personal favorite is Coursera. And I always suggest starting with the Google IT support certificate because it does teach you the basics of computers and operating systems and networks. And that's basically all you really need to know before jumping into like the security aspect of it. What I would say to look for in a cybersecurity online training platform is to look for labs and make sure that they're using evidence-based learning techniques. For instance, Udemy has tons of cybersecurity jobs. However, the issue is it's just lecture after lecture for most of them and there are no quizzes. There are no projects you can do. Sound quality is bad, so it makes it hard to listen. There's so much good cybersecurity online training uh, that you don't really have to go to cybersecurity boot camps or anything of that sort. Another question is what are the best colleges for cybersecurity? Honestly, it's going to be up to your own individual situation. However, the schools that I personally really like are WGU. I do have a playlist all about WGU. SANS bachelor's degree and master's program is also really good. If I could go back, I would do that one. And those two to me are standout, but there are tons of different colleges. Just make sure not to go to 50 to $100,000 in debt as it's not fully necessary. The next question is how do I gain experience in cyber security? And the answer is there are many different ways. I do have a video that goes deeper into 10 different ways that you can gain experience in cybersecurity without having a job. The next commonly asked question is, are cybersecurity degrees worth it? And the answer is, it really just depends on your situation. I do have a video that goes deeper into the reasons why I believe a degree is worth it and also reasons why I believe a degree is not worth it. That way you get both sides and can make your own decision. I'll link it right here. The next question is, can I land a cybersecurity job fast? And the answer is, I don't know your situation, so I can't really tell you how fast you can do it. Everyone works at a different speed. I do really believe you can get a help desk job in 90 days. I don't know if you could get a SOC analyst job in 90 days. Another commonly asked question is, what are the best cybersecurity resources? And it depends on where you are in your journey. For your technical content and news content, I would say Gerald Auger has really good news content. He goes on every day because in cybersecurity, keeping up with the news is extremely important. By watching this, you could definitely, like if you go to an interview that day, I would watch his stuff and then be like, oh, I use this content to keep myself updated in the field. So there's IT Brew, IT Brew newsletter, which sends you popular news that's happening. I also found another cybersecurity with Dana Mantilla. She goes over more realistic cybersecurity scenarios. I just found her channel really good. Network Chuck, David Bom Bomble, the Cyber Mentor. For career resources, there's, I mean, I think there's Sandra, Tech and Lifestyle, Josh Matacor, Grant Collins, and those are all, everyone is kind of at a different place in their career. So each person I think has a different perspective, which, which I think is absolutely fantastic because you shouldn't just listen to one source. However, I do have a playlist that you can check out. To kind of just explore all of your options and I will see you into the next video. Bye.